Today we've heard from some of the most influential people in politics. If you were to tell people, not just journalists and the heads of NGOs, but also young people, to take away one thing from today, what would that thing be? That their decisions make a difference. Their decisions to give some of their own money, but also the decisions about who they elect to public office and what they do. Because the greatest danger in the modern world is cynicism. And I think that this conference and the progress, but also the challenges you've heard about, are testimony to the fact that people can make a difference. Okay, in the run-up to the London Summit and also today's event, but in particular um, the G20, what are your hopes for the 2nd of April and how do you think people, are, you know, in particular the countries involved, how do you think they're going to achieve those goals? I think the G20 Summit is a chance for the world to come together. The 20 leaders there represent 85% of global income. I think that they have responsibilities to all the world's population uh, to get our own houses in order, our financial houses, but also to develop a version of low carbon growth, sustainable growth, that is for the benefit of the poorest in the world as well as those who are well off. And so I think that the responsibility is large, but the opportunity is huge. Okay, it's quite well publicised that you keep a blog. Um, would you ever look to kind of reach the youth in, in that respect? And also, would you recommend to other ministers that they do the same? Well, I hope people visit my blog, fco.gov.uk. I'll now do a blog on this uh, conference. Uh, I, I would certainly be careful about lecturing other ministers about what to do. But I think that uh, the truth is we've gone beyond the world of press releases. We're now in the world of debate and dialogue. And that's what the new media allows to take place. I learn from my blog and I hope that people get something out of it. Absolutely. Um, also, kind of going back to the London Summit, would you look to kind of talk to the emerging economies about increasing their sustainability, obviously in a world where they're increasing so much economically and so much economic growth, for example, India and China, um, but also talking to them and how would you go about that to kind of increase their well, sustainability? I think it's a very long debate. The most important thing to try to say to developing countries is don't repeat our mistakes. We have an obligation to help you avoid our mistakes and there won't be a global deal without you and you will suffer the most if there isn't a deal. So it's about responsibility really, a responsibility of the rich countries to change their ways but also to help poor countries avoid their mistakes. Now I'm supposed to be giving a lecture at the LSE in about three minutes so will you excuse me if I... Yeah, sorry. In, in just you know, last question, in a few words, what would be your final message to young people? What would you say to us as a generation? Uh, visit the DFID website. All right. Thank you so Cheers. much. Thank you. Thank you.